Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire and use the unique minigun known as Ash Maker. So first of all we need to come to the friendly town of Good Neighbor. On the Pip-Boy map it can be found to the northeast of Diamond City. As soon as we enter Good Neighbor we want to head down this alleyway here and at the green door turn right and head down this even more secretive alleyway and at the end we'll find this door. Now on the local map we start here walk down this alleyway, turn right, and then turn left, and we're at the secret door where my character's currently standing. Once here, we will be greeted by Bobby No-Nose. Who knows No-Nose? He, or she, I'm not even too sure to be honest, will offer you work, a job. And of course, we want to accept that job. Upon doing so, this will begin the quest, The Big Dig. A rather long and fun quest, but let's cut straight to the chase, directly to the end. So during the final stage of the quest, The Big Dig, there are three different ways you can acquire Ash Maker. First of all, you can choose to stay with Bobby. If you do this, you will have to kill Fahrenheit and then collect Ash Maker off her corpse. Secondly, we can choose to betray Bobby, in which we will have to kill Bobby and then Fahrenheit will reward us with Ashmaker for doing the right thing. Or the third and most peaceful option is to convince Bobby to leave. This way both Bobby lives and Fahrenheit lives and peace is reserved. After convincing Bobby to leave, talk to Fahrenheit and once again she will reward you with Ashmaker for making the right decision. As always before modding out the weapon and looking at its base stats I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character. What this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. As per usual, of course, you can mod your weapon out however you like, but for this particular mod set I'm going for versatility, practicality, and longevity. So in the first slot I'm going with the Tri Barrel. This increases damage by 35%, reduces the fire rate by 35%, adds 10 times minimum range, adds 14 times maximum range, increases the spread by 20%, reduces the recoil by 15%, increases VAT's cost by 50%, and increases sight time by 3%. But it will help us preserve our ammunition reservoir. Secondly, we're going to be going with the gunner sight. This adds 1.5 times zoom, reduces sight spread by 15%, reduces VATS cost by 15%, and reduces sight time by 10%. And finally, we're going to be going with the shredder. This reduces minimum range by 0.75 times, reduces maximum range by 1.5 times, and increases bash damage 100%. And it also looks bloody brutal. And once it has been modded out this way. It has a base ballistic damage of 10. It uses the 5mm rounds as ammunition. It has a fire rate of 177. Its range is 161. Its accuracy is 53. Its weight is 36. And its value is 1785 caps. And as we can see up the top, Ashmaker. Plus 15 burn damage over 3 seconds. So Ashmaker is a unique minigun with the legendary effect of incendiary, which sets targets on fire and in inflicts an additional 15 points of damage over 3 seconds. Which does make it look cool because the bullets produce orange traces when fired, adding a whole new level of cinematics to using Ashmaker. However, sadly, it turns out that the incendiary legendary prefix is a piece of junk. Plus 15 burn damage over 3 seconds. Sounds good, but it's a bad effect. The burn damage does not stack. Meaning that another hit on an already burning target will only refresh the duration and the damage doesn't seem to scale with anything. Meaning, regardless of perks or magazines or bobbleheads, you cannot increase that damage beyond 15. Granted, if the burning did stack, then Ashmaker would be one of the most insane weapons in the game. And you may be thinking that refreshing the burning effect is good, but just purely based on weapon damage, the enemy's gonna be dead within like four or five seconds. So at most, you're only going to get about 20 to 25 burn damage on these enemies with this legendary effect. So unfortunately, it looks like the devs put this on the back burner. So while we're here, let's put out this fire a little bit more. Ashmaker's DPS is lackluster, as it has low damage per bullet, low accuracy, and lacks any form of armor piercing. Also, ammunition for this gun is scarce, and shops only start stocking 5mm ammunition in mass at level 24 and onwards. This and the fact that only a select few enemies wield miniguns makes it difficult to keep the weapon supplied without spending a lot of caps at arms dealers. You could slightly negate this issue by investing points in the scrounger perk, and of course what we did, installing the 
try barrel, which helps to alleviate this issue to some extent by reducing the fire rate greatly. It also significantly increases Ashmaker's per shot damage, range, and accuracy at the cost of a sharp drop in fire rate. But again, all of which make the weapon a lot more cost effective and effective at mid to long range. Now, due to Ashmaker dishing out huge volumes of low damage shots with noticeable spread, it is best used for crowd controlling large numbers of weak, lightly armored foes. Like most types of animals, feral ghouls, raiders, trying to use this against heavily armored enemies, say the Brotherhood of Steel, is ill advised, as their level of protection will stop almost any damage Ashmaker is potentially capable of dealing. But on the brighter side of this bonfire of disappointment, the Shredder modification does make it quite useful when you run out of ammunition, as you can batter your enemies to death in a timely manner, although it now becomes the heaviest melee weapon ever. I will admit though, despite all the pissing in the fire, that Ashmaker is fun to use. I think this is just down to it's fun using a minigun. But again, with that now orange trace, with each shot fired, it just makes it a fun experience to watch and a jolly old good laugh to use. So now let's run through some very interesting things about this weapon. It is not possible to pickpocket Ashmaker from Fahrenheit even with the highest level pickpocket perk and syringer assistance. And killing Fahrenheit before she has Ashmaker equipped during the quest The Big Dig might result in Ashmaker not being obtainable. And Ashmaker is unable to be renamed at a weapons workbench because it is given to the player as a leveled list, not a unique ID. This particular idiosyncrasy is shared by only two other weapons, the Survivor Special and the Silver Submachine Gun. Ashmaker along with other mini guns are the first animated belt fed weapons in the series. And if you do want to use this weapon while wearing power armor, something that you might observe. The barrel spins clockwise while in first person and counterclockwise while in third person, but of course only when wearing power armor. So there you have it, Ashmaker the maker of ash, yet the bringer of fun, and yet the injector of sadness. Some advice if you do plan on using this weapon, be sure to bring an ashtray, cause you know, there's gonna be heaps of ash and stuff. Also bring a doctor to try and recover from that joke. In terms of legendary prefix deployment, this weapon is a shameful example. Be sure to retweet this video with the ash tag disappointment. And finally, although it is fun, Ashmaker is a shit weapon. And here it is, Ashmaker in action. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique minigun known as Ash Maker. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way. And if you did find this video helpful, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist, where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely, or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you are a fan of using Ash tags. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, the link will also be found in the description, or you can search Camelworks on Twitter, whatever is easiest for you. And with all that said, with too much said in fact, I would like to thank you very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I will see you very shortly in the next video, I'll see you there in a second.